All right, we're gonna talk about my weekly planning. My weekly planning to me has been a journey. I brought out some of my inserts for the end of last year because I was heavily in rings last year. Um, but my weekly inserts have always been, or I've always tried to get like a high overview of what I needed to do. But they always turned out like pretty planning and all of the information just looked too jumbled to me, but I liked pretty planning, so that's why it worked a lot for me. It was still very functional. These are Marcia Bramucci inserts on week on two pages um, where there is notes and my dog just loves to bark early in the morning. So this is some of the ones that I used I always would use stickers to highlight stuff and I always would just like to put uh, this week's to-dos that I needed to do. Um, this worked for a while, maybe like a month or two towards the end of the year and then obviously you could see that I fizzled out. I did try two different weeklies towards the end of the year. This one worked really, really well. It's Marcia Bramucci's, and you got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday here, and then in the middle was a shopping, a weekly to do. Now, this insert is what started me wanting my weekly to be a high level overview in different sections for my week. I wanted an area for my weekly to do's, for my shopping, for my weekend to do's, and you know, maybe my goals at the top. So, this insert is what catapulted me using hourglass planners insert in what I use now and started in um, February of 2020. So this insert was very good for me to section out everything. I actually bought it all for 2020 and had someone print it for me. Um, but yeah, I ended up not going in rings, obviously, in 2020. So I just wanted to show you what my weeks looked like before. But here is the insert. I started it, not February, March 20. March 2nd, 2020 is when I started this insert in this book. And the reason why I like this insert is because I have my Monday through Sunday at the top. I found that my events weren't so much every single day. I wanted, what, are, what do you got going on for that day? is what I wanted my weekly to do. Just give me an overview of what we got going on for the week. This is what sold me, the bottom half of this insert. So I have to-dos, I have goals, I have appointments, I have a tracker, I have chores, I have shopping, I have two note areas, I have a next week, but I can essentially make these whatever I want. That is what sold me, because this weekly insert is undated, and it allows me to make it whatever I want. Kind of still what I was doing in some of these pages, but it allowed me to do, make it more. So um, I'll just show you like a flip through a lot of the weeks. I really enjoyed this insert. Um, I didn't tag out April's because I was getting to a point where I was being lazy. <laughs> But I mean, every single week I did something different with these two, these three boxes. The shopping and the to-dos and the habits always stay the same, but the goals um, I've used before for like, either like YouTube, like whatever goals I had for that week for myself, um, a lot of it was kind of aimed towards me. I've used the appointment area where I want to go, like here's TJ Maxx, Family Walks, Backyard, Aldi, H-E-B, or I would come in later and fill in where we went. Um, chores <clears throat> was chores for a while until I changed it into a meal plan ideas. One crucial thing I forgot to mention in my system was I did have a meal planner insert. I didn't highlight that because I don't use it anymore. And my meal planning was always for um, my family in terms of my husband and my son, and then Sophia. Sophia used to be in full-time ABA, so I used to have to pack her lunch and, and snacks. So I always needed an area to try to figure that out and then meal planning. But what I did most recently, and you'll see, is I put my meal planning ideas in this insert. 
That's why this insert is so versatile. I think it was like $3.45. It's called Hourglass Planners on Etsy. My biggest thing is you have to try to find an insert that works for you. This may not work for someone. They may have a lot of, you may have a lot of appointments and you may not, you may need that to be the center of the insert and not all this. This for me is the center of my insert. This is what really, really works for me because I, and then obviously I could see, okay, we had inborn in home therapy. I had a doctor's appointment. My husband had an appointment. Like I can see, and sometimes when I'm not being lazy, I would color code all of the different appointments. So here, oh, there's all my food log. So I, I really, really loved, or I love this insert. And this again was March and April. So what I'm flipping through right here is April. And that the insert is just self-explanatory. I did try out a different insert when I came to the May and June, halfway July book. And I want to say, I tried to tag it. I don't know if I, here. This was from um, 3927 Designs. It was $3.55. I tried to do like the dashboard layout thing where all of my appointments and things were focused over here. And then this had a to-do, top priorities, notes, groceries, meal planner, tracker. It still sectioned out a lot of what this sensor did. But I tried this, I want to say, for three weeks, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it because my to-do started to get jumbled in with my events. And when I use the hourglass planner insert, it's really just my events, either sometimes it's memory keeping, but it's more my events. It became memory keeping when COVID came around because then Isaac didn't have any more band and Sophia didn't have any more appointments and my husband didn't have any more doctor's appointments. Like I didn't have any more appointments. It started to slowly dwindle, but I started putting my meal planner um, for my, my kids, or the rest of my family. And I keep saying that because even, even though before I was plant-based, I was keto, so I never really ate dinner. I still kind of don't really eat a heavy dinner. That's just what I've been doing for the past two years. So I don't, this is never what I eat. That's why I have a whole separate log. So my meal planning, you know, but my one habit tracker that has always been the same since I started um, this in March. So these, this insert, I mean, it started becoming where I was putting my to-dos here, set up a planner, wash clothes, meal plan, you know, treadmill. I, I just didn't like putting my to-dos here. Um, set up new week. Like I, I, just, I just prefer having um, my events like so. So that one was that one. And then here you go and see my weeks in the July book. And it really, really worked. So let's just talk about last week because that's the most relevant week. Um, I started sectioning out like film early morning, target run, 30 minute break, hubs to work. I started sectioning out the area for my you know appointments and stuff. And that, that really has worked for me and I'll continue to do that. Right here is my meal plan or ideas, meal ideas. So I did wanna say I migrated. Let's see what I, if I am migrated. I only migrated sausage on this week's insert. I did cook uh, curry stew, turkey, turkey burgers, turkey meatballs. We had leftovers and I didn't cook any tacos. Normally, if I was going through this correctly, I would highlight what I didn't get. I needed a pedicure, um, curry, celery, hummus. I'll just start highlighting certain things. I didn't dust and I did sweep them off. So this area down here started to become what to clean, and these were my goals, still the same thing. I try to cross out a lot just because in my mind, a check mark doesn't work. If you notice, I probably do a check mark and a cross out. It gives me the most maximum 
fulfillment. Again, that's my word. So I really, really, really love this. And I now comes in my new baby. Does start today. I have not done anything in here. I won't until I get the series videos done. Um, that's just my, again, my compulsion. But this is what you see from that last insert. Um, my goals, veggie daily, floor booty exercises, audible reads, guided meditation, breathing, dust, sweet mop, fridge sheets, um, detailed videos of each section. I had to add all my to-dos to do that this week, but clearly I did it. And the B6 Slim lightweight notebook, I already did all this. <laughs> And that's okay. I still have an extra area. And then I never find that I need to write more than what's on my weekly. So if I do, I, I mean, I can use a post-it, but it never is that. Um, so the highlight of the week is that my husband has annual training. I have therapy. My husband's military anniversary, 31 years serving. God bless his spirit. Ooh, um, is coming. So I wrote down all the stuff that I need to focus on buying. If I don't, I highlight that too and migrate it. I didn't write celery and hummus because it's on my grocery list. So I didn't want it to take up space here. I have grocery lists on my, um, a magnetic grocery list on my fridge. Um, I carry a grocery list. Usually I'll put some of that over here. Um, and then I merge those two that's a whole different topic but anyhow so this is this week I'm very excited to get into my moleskin um, and start doing away and putting everything away but again I won't go through my morning routine in here until I finish my last um, I'm gonna make an executive decision and just make this a long video and talk about my dailies because I don't feel like filming separately. Now, you guys have already seen <clears throat> my dailies and so how I used it and what I've used it for. I've talked about that to no end, but I guess it's nice to see how my dailies were from last year because I was mainly all in rings last year as my main everyday planner. So March through August 2019, I used Marcia Bramucci's insert. And it's very similar to what I do now. I mean, I have a routine, or I have a schedule here that I loosely follow. I was putting my Bible study, I still divide around devotion, scripture study, grocery list to clean. I journaled a lot on these at the bottom. But <clears throat> my dailies, are not my meat and potatoes. They're like a record and they're like memory keeping. I think if I have to say what's my meat and potatoes now, it's my brain dump pages. My dailies, I love to pretty plan, memory plan and do all that. It's kind of like, a, what do I have going on for today? It's, it's, it is realistic, but if it's, if it's the same, concept with my brain dump. If I don't get it done, I don't care. I don't let it rule me. I just think that I have a pretty option for a to-do list. <laughs> Honestly. So that's kind of what I do. I, I used to mark my weight a lot on my dailies, but I don't do that anymore. I've always had a tracker area for my weight. This is 2019. As you could see in this one, I have a little insert or tab that says tracker. And I have the same concept. I've been doing that. It's kind of tabbed down. I'm not gonna pull it out, but I've been doing my weight tracker since 2018. I can't find my other one, but. So anyhow, my dailies are really, really like a snapshot of what I need to get done and what I have done. And I really loved these inserts back in the day when I was using them. Sometimes I, you know, would journal on my dailies. I would do, I think that your daily page should be in all, like no restrictions, like just put it all down. 
Some people, again, we talked about it in my pretty planning and functional planning video, that this is too much for some people, but for me it works, so that's why I keep doing it. I, I, I've always put scripture in my weight, in my events, in my tasks, in my to-dos. Even one day I put what I ate. So you could see on keto, I had Atkins bar, two cups of coffee, brunch. I had eggs, two sausages with cheese. I had a Quest cookie with peanut butter. I had a salad with Quest bar. And in the salad, it had spinach, cheese, pumpkin seeds, olives, blueberries, and ranch. So, and I was 156.2 that day. Um, probably because I was starving. <laughs> I always was starving on keto. But I'm going to flip through all these. Some people have asked, how do you um, archive? I kind of do it like so. I put it all in this little box. And I have a new one for this year, but I don't have a lot of rings. A lot of my things are um, bound now. So here we are. I started doing a, um, this prob, yeah, from the moment I started here, I want to say, I think my dailies always had the schedule. I used to do nine to eight. Now I do eight to five. And the reason why I do eight to five is because that's kind of like my work day at home. <laughs> I mean, I don't ever get a break. But, I mean, when, when do we ever get breaks, honestly, Except unless the spouse or caregiver comes and helps. But, and I'm just talking to those with small children, but um, eight to five just seemed to work for me to have like a running memory keepings, loose schedule, and then on this side became my to-dos. I always did it like that, but in January, I mean January, July, I started to section out my to-dos and then make a distinct um, way of showing how I am separating them out. And the reason why I did that is because I wanted my to-dos to not fall into my loose schedule. And sometimes they did. One big thing, if you made it this far into all my seven videos, six videos, I have no restrictions with anything that I do. I don't let things stress me out. Instead, I let things provide an, an outlet for myself. I don't think it's wise as a believer, I'm almost 40 years old, to just let things stress me out. I'm at a point in my life where I'm protecting my peace like no other. I need peace at all costs. And I, what do I look like letting a planner stress me out? <laughs> what? No, ma'am. I can't do that. And I, I refuse to do that. So nothing stresses me. If anything, it's a true delight to come downstairs and go through my whole entire system and be good with that. My daily pages provide a current, real-time release, comfort, um, and... Let's just talk about today's plan because this is what I essentially do the night before. I brain dump and have my plan for the next, my plan of attack for the next day. And I, and I don't let this rule me. I mean, I pray. I, before I woke up this morning, I'm like, Lord, you know, thank you for my day. Thank you for my husband. Lord, I pray that, you know, my, my heart is, you know, secure in you and my mind is receptive and, you know, I'm not all over the place. Thank you for, for waking us all up. I sit there in prayer before my feet hits the floor. And then I'm like, Lord, my to-do list don't own me. So if I, if I doesn't get things done, if I get one thing's done, I thank you in advance, you know? I want to walk Sophia, I want to film today, unload the dishwasher, eat a salad, take Sophia out, start dinner at five. Over here, I have kind of a hefty grocery list. I probably will do like an Instacart, take my vitamins, fold the laundry, change the sheets. These are all doable. My self-care is doable. My, my, um, I'm going to film on my, an unboxing on my new TN that's coming today. Um, bathe my daughter and then load the dishwasher tonight. That's my evening to do's. These are reminders. You need to do your hair treatment. Eat one of these. Get your veggies in. Stay hydrated. 20 minutes on your bike. 
And then if I have any extras, I can put them here. But it's a and it's a game. It's it's a it's a not a game. It's a plan of attack. My game plan for what is happening. And then because I kind of planned about two weeks in advance, if I feel like oh, I don't want to do any of this, I'll just write it again over here. Oh, I don't want to do any of that. I'll just write it over here. Like for me, productivity is showing myself compassion. That's that's true productivity for me. Um. I'm gonna always have things to do. I'm gonna always has, have things to clean. I'll show you real life right now. Right there, that's real life. That's where my toddler plays and it's dirty. Um, do I need to clean it? Yeah, but I know it takes about five minutes and I'll clean it. I, I am not worried about what I have to do within my house. I'm here all day. I'm a manager of my home. Thank God he's gifted me this house. And he's blessed us with the, the things in it. So I'm going to make, make good time and be a, a good steward of my things. But I'm not going to let a to-do list rule me. So that's my weekly and my daily planning. I hope you have gotten something out of this that I have done. Um, that maybe you can take away something. If not, it's been so fun just showing you guys what my system looks like. Um, I'm sure if it evolves, I will let you know. Um, I guess one big thing I missed out of my planning system is my monthly. And my monthly is the catch-all. Um, I didn't start doing like goals before my month until July and I really actually like it. So I do have a section for goals over here that I dedicated before I get to my 2020 planning. Um, I drew out everything, but my monthly planning catches everything for the month. Between this and my important memories that happen, I kind of just have something to always refer back to. Um, I don't have my monthly with me when I was in my B6 Slim. It's, it's did the exact same thing, but smaller size. I wrote everything in my monthly. I wrote if we went to the park, if Sophia had a bad dream, if some of my hair was coming out, like I have thin hair and it was just, I think that's a transition from going plant-based. Now everything's good. I've been taking my collagen and it's all good. I added my nails back. I had a panic attack. Um, you know, so you guys have seen this. We had a tree consult um, this week. You know, I don't really have a lot going on, like I said, and just my therapy appointment. But as I go through the day, I'll fill I'll fill things out, and my monthly is just it's a month. It catches all of their events and stuff. Sometimes I make it my memory planner, um, or you know, so that's it. Like I said, I was gonna film separate ones, but halfway through this video, I was like, I'm lazy. <laughs> so you're gonna get my weekly, my daily, and my monthly in this video. If you have questions about it, um, you know, I'll try to answer them. But again, I thank you so much for watching my videos, for supporting, and I really do hope and pray that you can find your own system and that you don't let it stress you out and that you don't overcomplicate stuff. You just kind of go for it. And you keep searching and you keep finding and you keep using and you keep letting things um, provide an outlet for you and not stress. Protect your peace. God bless you.